So we're going to prove this one for all integral n is greater or equal to 1. I'm going to start from our step 1 n is equal to 1. So I simply put n equals to 1 into here for the left hand side just like this. So it's just going to be x plus pi in front of the cos. Guys remember when we did our trigonometric functions? Remember our ASTC rule, our all stations to central rule? Remember how we did this is just theta, this is pi minus theta, this is pi plus theta, this is 2 pi minus theta. Now which quadrant is x plus pi in? If say x is the theta. It's going to be this one here isn't it? But in this quadrant cos is negative. So it's simply going to be negative cos x. Okay just by the use of our trigonometric function which I'm pretty sure you guys are all good at. So that's our left hand side. I just used the stuff all stations to central rule. And now let's do the right hand side. The right hand side is simply negative 1 to the power of 1 cos x, which is just negative cos x. So I can clearly see that left hand side is right hand side. So we've proved it for n equals to 1. Okay, so that was step 1. Make sure you know your trig functions. Step 2, assume it's true for n equals to k. Okay, just replace all your n's with k, just like this. Now there's our assumption and now we'll do step 3. Now I want to prove it's true for n equals to k plus 1. So that means I'm going to put k, instead of k, I'm going to put k plus 1. And here it's going to be k plus 1. So let's start with the left hand side, which is just that. If I expand this inside, it's going to be x plus k pi plus pi. But what I'll do guys is group these two and then have the pi by itself. And you'll see why I'm doing this. I want to use our trig rules. Remember our trig rule that's when we're adding sums of trig functions. This is cos A cos B minus, sorry, sine A sine B, isn't it? Hopefully you've all memorized this one definitely. So therefore, what I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be using. So in this case, this is A, this is B. So let's go for it, like this. So it's going to be cos A, cos B, minus sine A, sine B. That's all I did, guys. So hopefully, I don't have to explain this stuff. So I've got here. Now you all know that sine pi is zero and cos pi is negative 1. Hopefully I don't have to go through that, you all know this from our trig functions, okay? If you don't, if you don't really understand this question, I highly recommend you to revise your trig functions because it's very, very likely that your teachers will put trigonometry in your induction as well. They always do that to trick you guys, so make sure you know this before you move on. Anyway, I know that one, so because this is zero, this whole thing will just be zero. And this one will be negative cos x plus k pi, and this one is just eliminated. Okay, so now, now it's a lot more simple, but compare it with this, we've still got a little bit to go. It's not the same yet. Compare it with the assumption now, because I want to utilize my assumption, of course. You can see that cos x plus k pi, which is this, is the same as this. So that's going to be this. That's what I'm going to be putting into here. So let's do that. I'm going to put that in there. So I have negative, so the negative stays out the front, that. But again, it's still a little bit different to the right hand side. So what I'll do is, see how this here, negative here? Negative, that negative simply means negative one, isn't it? That's what I'll do. So basically here guys, this negative, it's basically just negative 1, isn't it? It's the same as putting negative 1 out the front. So this is negative 1 to the power of 1. So we're multiplying and we know that that is same. So we're just with our index laws, when we're multiplying we simply add the indices. So the index for here will be k plus 1, which is the same as the right hand side. Okay, and we've just done the proof. So how smart was that? And how fun was that? 
And again, I just didn't write the conclusion because I'm running out of space. I'm pretty sure you guys can do the conclusion by yourself. I'm pretty sure you have like a phrase of conclusion memorized in your head. This one's just an ordinary conclusion, so make sure you write that by yourself. Make sure you don't forget it though, because you do get marked for it.